Well, Mitchell Wilson was just 11 years old. He had battled bravely against muscular dystrophy. But after a violent assault and months of torment, his father thinks he simply couldn't take it anymore. Mitchell killed himself just hours after learning he had to testify against his alleged attacker. That 12-year-old boy is in court today in Oshawa, Ontario. And the CBC's Trevor Dunn is there. We're going to hear the story of a boy whose life was already filled with uh, uh, quite an amount of suffering. Uh, as you mentioned, he, he, he lived with muscular dystrophy. Walking uh, was even beginning to come, be more and more difficult for Mitchell Wilson. Uh, he also lost his mother to cancer at the age of eight. But it, according to his father, it was this attack last November um, by uh, allegedly a 12-year-old classmate that sort of sent Mitchell into a depressive state and ultimately uh, ended with his suicide just a few weeks ago. Uh, Mitchell Wilson's father found his son suffocated the plastic bag over his head on the morning that would have been his first day of grade six. Now, last year at his Pickering School, uh, his father said that he was continuously bullied, blamed for getting this 12-year-old boy in trouble over the attack. He also feared the thought of testifying against him in court today. CBC News spoke with Craig Wilson earlier, and here's a little of what he had to say about that. He probably had an anxiety attack about going to school, about another year of ridicule, people staring because he walks different, um, having to go to court with, to face, his, face these criminals. Um, just wasn't going to do that anymore. It's important to remember these are just assault and robbery charges. It's so easy to view this as a boy who was, uh, you know, driven to death by bullying. But this is just an assault charge. Uh, and robbery and what's complicating is the, the sad fact that Mitchell Wilson uh, isn't here today. He can't testify and uh, according to the Crown uh, it will be tough for these charges to stick without the victim here in court. They may be dropped altogether. We still don't know if we'll hear a victim impact statement from his father because if charges are dropped well we won't hear that. But his father is hoping for a compromise, even if the charges are dropped. He wants to read a statement. He also wants uh, perhaps some community service for this 12-year-old boy. And what he would like to see is uh, that this 12-year-old accused maybe does some community service working with people who had disabilities like his sons in order to learn a little bit more about that and uh, the harmful effects of, of bullying.